Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is DJ from the DJ Gamer Channel. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you how to block multiple programs in a firewall. A lot of people don't really know how to block one, but I'm going to teach you how to block all files in that folder and in the subfolder. Now, this works on Windows 7, 8, or 10, so you don't have to worry about which OS you have. Also, it may work on XP, I don't know, but you know, it's kind of an old OS, so you should be kind of moving up from there because you know you can't really game <laughs> on something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website. I've already copied it. I'm going to put it straight into Internet Explorer. And then I'm going to, there should be a tab in here. One of these tabs. Uh, paste, there it is. Paste. Come on. Stack Overflow at line 60. Okay, shut up. Okay, you want to go to this website. I'll be providing the link on the YouTube page. Go to this website, and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this this first one. You can use this one, but it's a little more complicated. And you know, why would you be using a tool that makes things less complicated if you wanted to make things more complicated? You know. So you want to download it. We'll go ahead and save it. Save it to the desktop because it's not that big. It's just a going to be a bat thing. Save. It's going to be closed. That's good. Okay, so you want to click this. And you see where it says a dot .txt? What you want to do is just delete that part. And it becomes, it'll make it a batch folder. Okay, so say say you just said, you know, fuck it. I want to just block something because I don't want it to update. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to computer. Photo viewer. That's probably got exe in it. Okay, yeah. Okay. So let's go to this. you got a photo viewer. And you can drag and drop it straight into there. And if you want, you can actually just rename this. So I'm going to do, you know, big cap so everybody can see it across the room. Auto, actually, firewall blocker. Bitch. Hit continue. And then what you want to do is, say you, say you, you know, just want to do it easily. Any Anything below this folder and in this folder will be blocked in the firewall. So what we're going to do is we're going to first bring up the control panel. We're going to do system security. We're going to go to front of the firewall. We're going to go to advanced settings. And that's going to open up, uh, allow you to open up inbound and outbound, which, you know, that's where you normally would set the rules. And I'll scroll down, show you, you know, everything's, you know, just, I just installed this Windows 7, so you know, it'll be exactly how it is if you install Windows 7. So let's minimize this, X out of that because it or isn't needed. So right click it, go to run as administrator, go to yes, and you, you'll you get this little thing pop up. And you just I usually use a hit space, you can hit enter. Uh, just don't hit control C or it'll just terminate it. But you do that, and it's done. So you want to check it, you can go back to this, and you see it creates a new set of rules and that's all for the image photo viewer so say you want to make sure it, it uh, disconnects everything from the internet yeah so w what you can do okay I'm going to put this on Internet Explorer so let's go find Internet Explorer I'm not exactly sure what it's stored in probably x86 it seems to be a 32-bit thing yep so drop the Drop it in there. Continue. Right click. Run as an administrator. Space. Goodbye. Okay. Let's go back to control panel. Apparently, I closed it down. Advanced settings. Okay. So you see, Internet Explorer is completely shut down. Well, in here, and then in here too. This will edit inbound and outbound, so you don't have to worry about either one. So, say you want to test it, I'm going to exit out of all this, close all tabs, let's open up this sh shitty Internet Explorer. Hey look, diagnose connection problems. Let's go to, you know, one, one site that's always been up since I've been a kid. 
even internet companies tell you to go to that. <laughs> They're like, go to yahoo.com. I don't know why, but that's like their go-to thing. And you see the internet's still connected, but I can't connect to it. But And to disable it, you got, it's a little bit more work. You can disable them. You just right-click all of them and delete them. It's, uh, say you want, you should be able to just, yeah, I sure want to delete these rules, yes. And then you can click this. Delete these rules. Now, when you open it up, let's see what happens. Yep, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, favorite, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. This is DJ from the DJ Gaming Channel.